The reason why Amazon is the leader in the e-commerce space is because of their amazing return policy. Amazing for customers, not for sellers, all right? So as a seller, you are gonna need to know how to navigate the return refund stuff. And this is what we are going to talk in today's video. All right, so I'm going to tell you what I do while I handle my returns and how it's going to be different if you're in the US or if you are selling from overseas. All right, because right now I had a little bit, I, I, you'll see, you'll see, because you guys know I'm overseas, right? I like to change my process a little bit. Maybe not, but yeah. This is what we're going to talk about in today's video. Before we start, in the description, you're going to find three links. I always say that if you want to grow fast in any industry, you're going to need two things. You're going to need mentorship and you're going to need a network, all right? If you want mentorship, all right, first of all, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. So link in the description, look at my availability. You can book a call for as early as tomorrow. We are going to build a plan for you to scale your business. And I will be available to make sure that you actually follow your plan and that you actually reach your goals, all right? So it doesn't matter what you have a problem with in your business. We are going to overcome it and we are going to make you scale to what you want, all right? It does not matter if you're a beginner or if you're a little bit more advanced. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you are a beginner, I have something specially for you, done for you. Uh, we, we, we are going to start soon a mentorship program where I'm going to take four guys and it's going to take both sides, all right? Mentorship and networking because I'm going to take four to six of you and bring you guys to your first $10,000 in month if you have the capital, all right? So if you have the capital, join the wait list. You're going to receive more information soon on that program. All right, join the wait list. It's gonna be weekly sessions, weekly group sessions and weekly individual sessions. It's gonna be way cheaper than if you were to do the one-on-one -on -one coaching, but it's going to be extremely limited as well. So join the wait list to make sure that you are gonna receive the information when it's out and when we actually start. And it's gonna be the cheapest go, all right? Because it's gonna be your test group. So join the wait list. Third link that you're gonna find is the Discord server. If you want to network, best place to do it, just be active in general, talk, answer all people's questions, and soon enough, you'll make new friends, and this is one of the best ways to learn, all right? And it's way more fun to run this business with friends than by yourself, all right? So, as I said, returns and refunds. So, uh, as I said, Amazon, all right, the reason why they are so great and why people actually trust them is because it's so easy to return stuff if something does not, uh, you, if something does not fit what you, what you, what you expected, all right? So, uh, because of that, as a seller, you are going to receive a lot of returns. And most of the returns, um, so if you sell FBA, they, they will send, like customers will send the returns back to Amazon, all right? And so they are going to inspect it. Uh, if it does not meet Amazon's requirement, if, if, if the people inspecting your inventory that they receive say that it's not resellable, um, it is going to be sent back to you. Now, here's the thing. 95% of the time when Amazon said that something is not resellable, it is actually resellable. It's just people not doing their job correctly, all right, on Amazon's part. And it happens all the time, and it's, I don't think it's ever going to be fixed. Um, so, because of that, you need to reinspect your inventory yourself and see if you can actually ship it back. And most of the time, it's going to be the case, you are going to be able to ship it back. Now, as I said, if you are overseas, it's a little bit different and you're going to need to find a, um, you're need to find a prep center that actually does return. Um, it's a, because if not, it's going to be a big leak because there's so much product that you can send back and it's going to take a toll on your, on your numbers. And for example, for me right now that you guys know, if you do not know me, um, I, I live in the US, but right now I'm overseas, I'm traveling. And so all my returns still go, I do not have someone taking care of my returns, all my returns still go to my address. And I have a whole lot of returns waiting for me. So it's a big leak for me, for my business right now, which is fine. Um, but soon I will make the change. I will find, I, I'm gonna see if my prep center can actually handle refunds for me, returns for me. And uh, if not, that's fine. I'll find another place where I, that will process my returns. Now, as I said, most of your returns, you are going to be able to just send it back to Amazon, right? But if you can't, there's two reasons why you, why you would not be able to. Either customers stole whatever you sold them and put something else, or second reason that, that, that it could be is that the customer damaged the inventory, all right? So if the inventory is damaged, all right, um, there's, once you're going to receive, like on the poly bag on which you receive your, your, your item, in which Amazon puts your item, there's going to be a code, all right? K 
keep that code you can open a claim to actually be refunded all right most of the time if it's stolen it's gonna be easy you're gonna be refunded if it's damaged uh, it really depends i always say always try sometimes you will need to absorb the cost sometimes there are nothing you can do sometimes amazon will actually reimburse you all right it really depends but uh, yeah Open a claim anyway, whenever it's something that you cannot sell anymore. Take pictures, send it to Amazon, and as always, if you can, we submit as long as you can. And most of the time, at the end of the day, they will actually reimburse you. But if it can't, like, it, sometimes the, the inventory is just too damaged and you can just throw it away, all right? There's nothing you can do. But sometimes it is not in new condition, but you can still sell it in other marketplace or, or just keep it yourself to use it or just donate it or give it to a friend, all right? It's always, like, uh, with my returns, I often give, give out the returns that I, I, I receive that I cannot sell to friends, uh, family, and, you know, it always makes people happy, right? But one big part of actually getting your money back, one of the, the, the best way you can do it is listing this inventory in other platforms, on other platforms, right? So the one I personally use is eBay. I sell a lot of my returns that are not resellable on Amazon, on ebay all right anytime something is not necessarily new the packaging is damaged uh, or you know like if it's clothing like if the tag has been removed stuff like that usually i would liquidate that inventory on ebay and it's also you know it, it builds it's going to start building your inventory on ebay and on eBay, the more inventory you have, the more sales you're, you're going to get. And even if you start sourcing inventory just for eBay, you will have some, 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 some history on eBay. And so it's going to work in your favor. So I would highly suggest you, if you are in the US, if you do not have to, to even if you work with a prep center, if you do not have too many returns, still get your returns at your address. So you can start working on that and start getting your eBay business on the, like, on the real and start working with that, right? Um, because even if you start sourcing, especially for eBay's after that, whether it is used clothes or other stuff, it's going to start building your account and it's all already going to diversify your income when it comes to your e-commerce business, right? Because you are an e-commerce entrepreneur, you are not just an Amazon seller. Uh, stop seeing yourself as an Amazon seller. There's just so much opportunity and do not box yourself into one thing. Um, see yourself as someone... That does a little bit more than that, right? You are an e-commerce entrepreneur and when you actually present yourself in front of if you actually want to do wholesale down the line, um, if you have experience in other platforms, it's going to be a plus, all right? So, uh, and it's always good to diversify your income when it comes to Amazon. It's never certain that you will get your paycheck uh, because there's a lot of bullshit that can happen with Amazon, right? But, yeah. What, like the only way that I use to liquidate my inventory is the, the inventory that I cannot sell on, on on Amazon anymore, and that uh, the returns at least, and um, the, the 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 stuff that um, I, I forgot what I was going to say. But yeah, the way I do it is with eBay uh, most of the time, like all, all the time, all the stuff that I do not donate, that I do not give away, or that I do not just throw away or that i do not keep for myself because yeah sometimes there's stuff that you can keep for yourself you know but yeah all that stuff that is not going to be um, like this uh, you know I, I just put it on ebay uh, it helps me build my ebay account and so i'm traveling and i often forget to because ebay like the sales on ebay you can get your ebay business it can help you at least to get your eBay business to a couple sales a day. And so right now, you know, my eBay store has been on vacation. And so I, the thing with eBay is that you can only put it on vacation for 30 days and then it goes back live by itself. I always forget to put it back on vacation and like by the time it goes live, I already have a sale. And so I need to cancel it. And so it can be a nice second stream of income. So do not sleep on that. Do not sleep on eBay. And, um, you know, same thing with Walmart, Marketplace, all that stuff. Start looking into that. Uh, if I can give you a, a, an advice, start looking into it. You never know. But, um, yeah, start. You, I think you can sell that inventory on Poshmark as well. Uh, Facebook Marketplace. Just list it everywhere and um, see how it goes. All right. So this is my tips when it comes to returns. This is how I do it. Uh, I will probably see if my presenter can handle the returns. And, yeah, if something is damaged, always try to do a claim and uh, see how it goes all right so that's it for today's video i hope it was helpful if it was leave a like subscribe do all that stuff if you want to keep learning about amazon as always there's going to be two playlists and a video right there on the screen that you can watch i have a playlist on sourcing and a playlist on uh, just a place with all my videos so um yeah if you want to binge them be my guest thank you for watching i'll see you tomorrow